All right, you guys, today I want to check out how to make this a really cool rounded pixelated effect here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this arbor size as a reference. And for the font, I got to go with Sloop Script Bolt 2. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Let's go down to the layers. Press and hold Shift, select both layer with the background and with the text. Right click and convert a smart object. Now, I know a lot of you want to remove the background, but we're going to fix it later. Let's click on convert a smart object. And from here, let's go to the filter. Let's go to pixelate and select mosaic. I'm going to increase the pixels quite a bit. And I'm going to go with 33. Click OK. And on this one, I'm going to apply a threshold. So let's go to image, adjustments, and select threshold. And I'm going to go and decrease the threshold until the letters are going to be more understandable. I'm going to go with like 87. Click OK. I'm also going to go to the image, adjustments, and apply a level. And I'm going to decrease the level, make it a little bit more gray. I'm going to go somewhere around 160, click OK. Now from here, let's go to the filter, filter gallery. And let's go to the brush strokes and select the accented edges. For the edge width, I'm going to go with 6. The edge brightness, I'm going to increase all the way up. So now you can see it added some strokes. And check this out. Now we're going to smoothen this out. Here we got the smoothness and increase it all the way. And it's going to make it rounded. Click OK. I also want to see that mosaic with different shading, but I already added the threshold on it. So what we're going to do is go here on these handle icons, double click on it, and I'm going to go to the opacity and I'm going to decrease it somewhere around 50. Click OK. Now we got the grayscale of a dark and light cubes. It also has a little bit of anti-aliasing going on. So I'm going to go to the filter blur, select the Gaussian blur, and I'm going to decrease it quite a bit to 1, 1 1.2. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the image, adjustments, and add another level. And I'm just going to increase the contrast just to make it more sharp. I'm going to go with this. Click OK. I'm also going to color it. Let's go to the image, adjustments, and select the gradient map. And here, let's click on the gradient. And let's add some colors. I'm going to click here, add another handle. I'm going to make this purple, maybe. Click OK. Add another one. This is going to be like orange. And about least, I'm also going to add a green. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Now, if you want to remove the background, all you need to do is double click on the layer and make sure to check Blend Interior Effects as Group. And all you need to do is go here to the current layer left handle and bring the black handle to the right. And check this out, it is going to eliminate the black areas. And now you can click OK. Now, unfortunately, this effect doesn't work if you apply the effects on a text with no background. And about least, I'm also going to add some noise. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Make sure to uncheck Monochrome. I'm going to go with 16, click OK. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.